Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sean Rampersad here with the LendRamp Mortgage Team at TMG The Mortgage Group. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about B lending. Okay, so a lot of people have questions around B lending and how it works, what the interest rates are like, that type of thing. I'm going to explain it all to you today. I'm located in the Alberta marketplace, servicing Edmonton, Calgary, everything in between. Uh, we can actually service Cross Canada, so please give me a call if you have any mortgage related questions that I can uh, assist you with. We have offices in every province uh, in, in Canada. So to get started, uh, what is a B mortgage? A B mortgage is a type of mortgage uh, that you go to when you can't get approved at a regular bank. Okay, so the standard banks, they have all kinds of rules and regulations. They're very black and white for, uh, for the most part, and they don't deviate from their, um, their rules, rules and regulations. So there could be a very small reason that you can't get approved today at a regular bank, and that's where the B lenders come into place. So overall, there's three different types of lenders. There's A lenders, there's B lenders, and there's C lenders. A lender, lenders are like your standard banks, uh, credit unions, that type of thing. B lenders have a little bit of a higher rate. And then the C lenders, which are also called private lenders, I did another video on that, uh, which you can see uh, in my video below. Um, they have the highest interest rate of the three different type of, types of lenders. But the B lenders are kind of right in between. They're not that much higher than the A lenders interest rate wise. Uh, so they can be a big benefit to you. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Who gets a B mortgage? So a B mortgage is uh, for somebody that has 20% down or more uh, to put down on a property and they don't fit the standard guidelines uh, of a regular bank. So they may not fit the standard guidelines because maybe um, they have bad credit. So B lenders accept up to as low as a 400 credit score. So you could have a good down payment and uh, still get approved, uh, you know, good down payment, Decent job, still get approved uh, with a B lender because you have a big down payment. It's hot. Uh, also, uh, other people that fit in with B lenders are business owners. So business owners don't generally claim very much income. Uh, so if uh, they, they have an approach called the bank statement approach through B lenders. And so you could have just started your business six months ago earned a pretty good income and they take your bank statements and they'll they'll show that income and the B lenders will accept that income with a large down payment. Again, 20% down is the minimum uh, you can go with a B lender. Uh, people with no income, people with no income can still qualify uh, through B lenders. Uh, it could be retirees, it could be uh, many, many different situations. B lenders are a little bit more flexible. So people that are on H, for example, can still fit in with a B lender, whereas most standard banks don't uh, accept people on H. B lenders are, uh, are the in-between, uh, so they're filling the gaps in the mortgage lending world, okay? Is there a B lender in Edmonton or Calgary or Lethbridge or Red Deer or Fort Mac? There are B lenders that service all of these areas. There are actually B lenders that service all across Canada. Okay, so some of these B lenders are actually really big companies, you know. Uh, for example, like Equitable Bank, they have their A side and then they have their B side. They're a huge, huge company. Uh, so you can definitely benefit from, um, from them being large companies. They're not going to go bankrupt and uh, they're not going to foreclose on your property. There's, there's less risk with B lending, okay. Can I qualify for a B mortgage if I have bad credit? Like I said, absolutely. If you, I mean, there's tons of reasons a person could get bad credit. For example, a really bad divorce where the spouse just stops making their own car payment, but your name is on it, for example. Uh, so there's, there's loads of different reasons where a person can get bad credit. B lenders don't care, okay? Uh, now, the better your credit is with a B lender, the lower the interest rate is, but still, they don't care and the interest rate's not much more than a uh, standard A bank. So you can definitely get a mortgage if you have bad credit. What are the risks of dealing with a B lender? So there's no severe risk with, uh, with a B lender. If you're not making your payments and you're up for renewal, the B lender can say, and a regular bank can do this too. They can say, you know what, we're not willing to, um, to give you another term. 
okay? So you would have to go elsewhere. That's if you're not making your payments. So, I mean, getting into a mortgage, most likely the plan is to make the payments, um, uh, but B lenders can uh, do that too. So th there is really very little risk. It's the same risk as, as if you were dealing with a regular bank, okay? Do B lenders charge fees? Yes, all B lenders charge fees. Okay, so let's say you come to me uh, today and you, you want a standard mortgage. There is no fee on a standard mortgage with, you know, let, let's say I place it with Scotiabank or TD or any of these other types of bank. There is no fee. You don't pay me anything. Okay, but with B lenders, they're getting their money from a different source than a regular bank. So you do have to pay a B lender. Okay, uh, usually uh, the lending fees are anywhere between one and 3% depending on the uh, B lenders. So what I do is I take your information and I go and shop you at all of the B lenders and I come back and I present situations to you. I'll say, okay, well, this uh, B lender is offering you such and such uh, rate and, and this as a fee and you decide which route you wanna go. I'll talk to you about terms and conditions and that type of thing. I want to ensure that you're getting into the safest product that meets your needs. Okay. So just call me anytime and I can walk you through the process. I would never ever approach a B lender yourself and uh, try to get a mortgage. It just doesn't make sense. You're still going to pay the fees. The interest rate is probably going to be higher than what I can get for you anyway. And uh, you haven't explored all your options if you do that. So call me first, okay? How can I get a B mortgage? Well, you can come to me and I can get you the B mortgage. Um, <clears throat> like I said, don't get it. Don't try getting a B mortgage yourself. It just, it, it doesn't really make sense. Do I need a mortgage broker to get a B mortgage? Uh, yeah, you should have a mortgage broker to get a B mortgage. Absolutely. And you need a broker that knows B lending and understands it. Um, there's tons of mortgage brokers out there. And uh, if you are dealing with one uh, that doesn't understand B lending, please give me a call anytime. It's a very uh, complicated uh, process and a lot of mortgage brokers only deal with, you know, standard A, uh, a banks. So give me a call anytime if you have any questions or have your mortgage broker reach out to me. I'm, I'm happy to uh, answer some questions, okay? What interest rates do B lenders charge? B lenders usually charge around one and a half percent more than a standard bank, okay? So for example, standard banks right now, our lowest rate is 4.49. This is uh, March, 2023 that I'm filming this video. Uh, the B lenders right now are at about 6.5%. Uh, so in this case, they're about 2% more. Um, sometimes they're less and so sometimes there's just such a small difference. Like last year, uh, the B lending rates were only like three and a half, three point nine nine 3.99%. It was, it, it was incredibly cheap. So investors that are maxed out um, in their debt servicing, and you'd only understand this if you were maxed out, but if you buy a bunch of properties and you're an investor, at some point the banks are gonna say, you can't afford anymore. Your debt versus income is too much. This is another area where B lenders are hugely beneficial because you can just keep buying and buying property uh, if, you, if you qualify with, uh, with the B lenders. It's huge. I mean, yeah, you'll love it. Uh, what are the benefits of a B lender? You can qualify for more property. The interest rate is still cheaper than a private lender. Uh, you can get up to five year terms with a B lender, just like a standard bank. So they, they'll, they'll do it longer for you. And uh, you need very little documentation to deal with a B lender. Uh, most B lenders don't care if your taxes are done, so you can uh, you can still qualify with them. So I mean, there's some huge, huge benefits of uh, of dealing with a B lender. And at the end of the day, you get into your property, you get the property. Property values generally increase, and uh, you'll be able to get into your property. It's uh, it's massive. So. Anyway, if you have any other questions about B lending, A lending, private lending, it doesn't matter. Please give me a call anytime. I'm happy to assist you. Uh, my phone number is 780-278-4847. And if you like the video, could you please subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, give the video a like? It helps me. Uh, if you have any comments uh, or questions, 
uh, please comment below. I am pretty good at getting back to people and uh, I'd love to be of assistance to you. Thank you very much.